Hey gamers, I am Cybersnake7 and welcome to my late late pickup video slash let's just talk about random stuff. Um, basically this is officially my last late night up because I've just had a week off. Um, I'm drinking heavily and playing lots of games um, so I thought I'll show you where I've, I've come through my door and the pickups that I picked up over the last five days as well as my plan for next Saturday which most of you or some of you may be going to and hopefully I'm going to see you there but I'll get to that in a bit but firstly let's talk about the things that have come through the post for me um, miscellaneous items not actual games these end these are just like a few items that one I didn't expect to turn up at all and two I was waiting for but before we get into that let's get the most important thing out of the way cheers Carl right so we'll start with the unexpected item Friday morning just get me ass out of bed knock on the door get a parcel sign for it for what the hell is this I haven't had anything delivered to the house I'm in now because 80% of my items get to my parents because it's easy because there's always somebody there but so luckily I was here uh, obviously being on holiday so I get this parcel and I think what the hell is this rip it open and I get this uh, this is the pre-order pack for Assassin's Creed Black Flag um, but this is for the PS4 because I've ordered the um, Black Flag of Assassin's Creed from the official Ubisoft website. Um, now obviously I pre-ordered the Buccaneer edition originally from Game but when I seen Ubisoft had their own version of the Buccaneer, the Black Buccaneer version which you could only get from Ubisoft, I jumped ship and I went straight for that one, I thought I'm having that. But I also jumped ship and changed consoles and went to the PS4. I thought if I'm going to get a game to start the collection, no better than the Assassin's Creed because I love the Assassin's Creed anyway. But yeah, this is just basically a pre-order pack. You get a map inside here um, which you use within the game and it, uh, obviously you've got to find the content, hidden content. Uh, it's just basically weapons and compasses and something to do with costumes and things like that. Uh, and obviously they're marked within the map in this case and you use within the game itself when you get it hopefully it comes out in November whether it does I don't know but unexpected uh, very nice to have and it's it's nice to see my first little bit of PS4 goodness so that's one unexpected item I didn't expect but I'm glad I've got and that's my old pre-order pack for the Assassin's Creed Black Flag PS4 okie dokie right the second item um, cutting a long story short two weeks ago I was sitting in my room as I'm doing now swinging on my chair and I thought I wonder how many Nintendo points I've got for the life of me I've never bothered with them before I'm a bit slow with the Club Nintendo thing obviously um, so I thought I'd scare through my Wii boxes my Nintendo uh, DS and my 3DS and I gathered just under 14,000 points which was pretty impressive and I can't believe that I had that many points so I was looking on the Nintendo website I joined yes I've only just joined how sad is that um, and my eyes were just attached to the, the game and watch um, which I really really wanted straight away um, but for loving the money I couldn't get it so I was pretty gutted about it, it weren't available for some bizarre reason uh, and there was also um, trophies on there as well from Mario Kart which I still couldn't get my hands on which I was pretty peed off about so I went for this item now I know I've seen a few people with this item already and I'm assuming some of you guys have this anyway um, but when I show you this, you'll know exactly what it is. 
Yes, it's the question mark box from Mario. But most of you should know what's inside it. Um, so I ordered this and this uh, came last Tuesday, but I've only just fetched it, um, obviously, today. Um, and it is this little treasure. I like it a lot. It's um, a nice little statuette of the complete team. Obviously Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Toad and Princess Peach and the main man Bowser with that little mushroom dude sticking his head out the tube. But yeah, I really do like this little ornament. Um, still, I would have liked the Game & Watch but I'm pretty chuffed to have my very first piece of Club Nintendo stuff. Um, and hoping to get another little item shortly. Don't know what to get yet though. Uh, get myself a few more points I think but yeah fantastic little item banging on the shelf and that is going to be pride of place for me out of the box keep the box separate like you know what I mean but yeah there's my second little item uh, my very first piece of club Nintendo uh, which I'm very very happy to own okay now the third item I honestly, I've been chomping at the bit for this because uh, Inter Ghost, I seen him, he had his ticket weeks ago and he, I seen it in the background and I thought, oh, I should be getting mine shortly and I, I hadn't got it and I was panicking a bit because next weekend, a majority of you should know, it's the revival at Wolverhampton, the Wolverhampton race course and I've been waiting for my ticket and waiting and waiting and I haven't, I hadn't received it. And literally, Friday morning, my mum phones me and says, your ticket's arrived. And I thought, thank God for that. So, there it is, guys. One ticket for the revival for Saturday. Which I am very, very much looking forward to going to. Um, so, there's my ticket. And hopefully, I see a lot of you YouTubers down there. I'm expecting to see at least two or three of you. Maybe more. Beers. Gaming. That's all I'm saying. Good kick-ass laugh, lads. Right? So, if I see you there, fucking superb. If I don't, it's a shame because, you know what I mean? I just hope I do. But anyway, there you go. There's my revival ticket. Absolutely looking forward to going. Um, and I really, really do hope that I see some of you guys down there next week we'll have a beer as I say have a chat I like to meet the YouTubers in the flesh it's good not just to look at you on the screen if I can meet you even better that's all I'll say but right that is item number three three items just miscellaneous stuff but not games now let's move on to the games shall we right get out of the way now this game um, was a recommendation believe it or not I seen uh, a video about a week or two ago and it was from the main man Darren Walshock um, and I seen him play this game um, I'm going to make this like a double thing you'll know why now um, firstly the game um, I was very very impressed with the game and I hadn't bought a Mega Drive game for a long time um, so I thought yeah I'm going for this game but it weren't just the game it was excuse me something else every time I watch this guy's videos I mean lately he's doing these uh, Dreamcast shoot -em up videos and I, I just fell in love with his TV I thought I would have to get me one of them TVs to play more retro stuff on because yeah it's okay having the plasma but it, the quality of the picture is pretty damn shit so I thought I've got to get me a Bang & Olsen absolutely have to have one and I've been waiting for one and I've been looking for one realistically ever since I very first saw him show his Bang & Olsen um, and the trouble I've had is the fact that they're just too far afield for me to go and collect um, but I did fall on my feet uh, a week ago um, and a chap in Wolverhampton funny enough had one and there it is 
it's the MX4200. Um, absolutely awesome TV. Fantastic TV. But let's, let's give it another look, shall we? You've got to look at my ugly mug, I know, but never mind. But all I can say is that is one awesome TV. And as you can see, I've got Sonic Blastman for the Super Nintendo on there. But I've got to say, absolutely chuffed to bits to have that TV. Brilliant, brilliant bit of TV, I tell you. But there you go. But the trouble is, as you know, most Bang & Awesome TVs, when you buy them off eBay, you never get the controller with them. Because the controller is always worth more than the bloody TV. So I had to order one of these, which is the German uh, equivalent to the main controller for the Bang & Olsen because um, the controllers can give from anything from 30 to 50 pounds upwards for the original controller so I went for this one which is uh, 16 quid and it does the job and it allows me to play this TV because I've had this TV since last Saturday and I haven't been able to use it and it's well I've had a week off and I haven't used it once apart from today when I got this controller but, got to say, Daz, what a TV. Absolutely chuffed to bits to have that TV. And I'm going to be playing on this far more than that. I'm going to be playing on the plasma, mate, believe me. But, yeah, there you go. That is the controller. That is the 21-inch Bang & Olsen. And I'm loving it. Absolutely brilliant. But, let's get on to the game. Also, Darren Walshock recommended and I've got to agree it's an absolutely fantastic game for uh, the Mega Drive and it is this Dynamite Edo uh, by Treasure what a fantastic game it's an absolutely insane game I might add but oh god absolutely a hidden gem without a shadow of a doubt a fantastic fantastic title that is brilliant game but um I've got to say thanks, Daz, for two recommendations. A great game and a fucking awesome TV. Top job, mate. Anyway, time's getting on. It's like nearly 13 minutes. We're on to the last game. Now, the last game, believe it or not, is a GameCube game. Now, this one um, I've, I've heard of but I've never actually seen anything on it and I looked at it on YouTube and there was one given on eBay for 13 quid uh, an NTSC version and I thought I've got to get my mitts on that and I won it and I haven't yet played it because this is still sealed um, but it's technically like a pinball game um, slash um, how can I put it it's Yeah, it's technically like a, a battle game, uh, a str strategic battle game, but it's a pinball game also. Um, but I've never seen anything like it, and to be honest, I'm so glad I've got it because it, it is in pretty good condition for 13 quid, and it comes with everything. The game is sealed inside, uh, and you get a mic with it as well, which I'm pretty glad I've got a mic now, so I can use it uh, whenever I get uh, some Mario Party games, which I'm definitely after. But I've got this. For 13 quid, NTSC sealed inside, still sealed. Adama, that's right, that's right, I said it right, yeah, Adama, the big box version, absolutely pristine condition, sealed inside. Um, not yet played this because I, I haven't got my GameCube out at the moment. I've been playing the Super Nintendo, as you can see. But this game, absolutely awesome game, awesome looking game, looking forward to that immensely but that's it guys that's my last game and probably my last GameCube game for a while to be honest because I'm concentrating on the Super Nintendo now trust me but anyway guys I'm going to leave it there because I'm running out of time but as always guys I am Cybersnake7 keep playing keep watching and I'll see you in the next video